Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. The Tiger 2 stands before you. Look at this beast. This is one of the first, um, what is it, a tier 8? Tier, it's a tier 8, 7? I think it's tier 8. Yeah, the Tiger 1 is tier 7. This is tier 8. This is the first tier 8 heavy that I got when I started playing the game almost over 10 years ago, I guess now. And I was so happy when I got it. It looks so beautiful. I, I just thought, wow, what what a beast. Like, look at it. It just looks... When I first started this game, I just thought this looks so powerful. I thought, oh my god, I've reached tier 8. The enemies won't know what hit them. This is the this thing looks just incredibly powerful. I think I watched a couple of videos. I think I watched a Mighty Jingles video. And he told me all I had to do was angle my armor. And I would dominate on the battlefield. Or that might have been someone else that told me I would dominate on the battlefield. But I took my Tiger 2 out. And I think after about two games I was in tier 10 games. And um, let's just say Jingles. Angling my armor didn't work very well. And I didn't dominate on the battlefield. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> I learned a little bit about armor. They really don't need it. The only thing that happens when you have armor is that you're slower. You're slower to get into positions. And everyone pens you anyway. I thought oh, it'll probably be better when I got to the E75. And I got to the E75 and it was better. It was better. Back in the days, the E75 was a beast. It's still pretty good. Then I got the E100. I think it took me two years to grind that. Right? I was on an old PC. I didn't, you know, I probably had like a 22 frames per second, and two little gerbils running inside the PC box to keep my uh, computer going. <laughs> probably had 200 ping because <laughs> I had a dial-up connection. <laughs> And I got to the E100 <laughs> and pr proceeded to not dominate on the battlefield. Look at my stats, guys. Look at my stats and you'll see uh, the number of games I played in the uh, German heavies. All when I had no idea what to, what to do in this game. And um, But I still love them. I don't know why. I still love them because every now and then the commander says, They are getting fighters here at Panzerfrom! And I thought that was cool. But I sucked in the 100. I sucked in the 100. And I put it away for years until now. Now I'm like a beast. When I now I know what to do. I, now I angle my turret. I side scrape. When I see an object, I run away. <laughs> but that's besides the point. That's history. That's my old history. What are we witnessing here today? We're wit witnessing. Uh, what is your name? How do you say your name? Dermix Fall David. Dermix Fall David, dot dot dot. It's a longer name, I can't read your name. And I think you're from a clan. Shout out to you guys! Whatever clan you're from, shout out to you. He's playing his Tiger 2. We're gonna enjoy this game because it's a pretty damn good Tiger 2 game. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> and he's, whoa. <laughs> okay. He got pen, okay. His, tur his turret is turned sideways. He got hit in the side of the turret and penned with heat. The guy did 200 damage. And of course that took out his gun. <clears throat> what? The shot didn't hit the gun. It did 200 damage. If it hit the gun, it would have said critical hit. That's the stupid thing about this game. If you actually hit the gun, sometimes it says critical hit and the gun's not damaged. <laughs> but if you hit the side of the turret, the, oh, the, the gun's damaged. Anyways, this guy has moved to a central position. He's not sitting at the back. He's not uh, uh, going to the usual heavy spot. Look at the map where the T-29 is, where you can side scrape and stuff. He's actually using his uh, uh, okay gun depression. And when this guy's on a ridge line, remember he's got that upper plate, angled upper plate. It's it's hard to pen a tiger too that does it properly. This is what I didn't understand. I thought, and I blame Mighty Jingles. Okay, I blame the Mighty Jingles uh, because when I like ten years ago when I started and I got the tiger too and I watched his video. I can't look it up. There's probably a ten-year-old 
Mighty Jingles video about uh, the tiger too. And all he said was, howdy folks. And then he talked uh, uh, a lot, maybe you know, about his cat and stuff. And he said, all you gotta do, uh, oh, he probably had a, there's probably about 17 minutes of in-garage review, which I usually skipped after about five minutes. Sorry, Jingles. And then when he, uh, let's get on with the gameplay. And then he'd just say, oh, look, there's an enemy. All I gotta do here is uh, angle my armor. And then he'd angle, and the enemy would bounce, and he'd go, <laughs> And I thought, that's all I have to do. So I went out and did that, and it didn't work. <laughs> Your gun is not working either. <laughs> it didn't work. I angled my armor, and this thing's a big shoebox. It's got the big flat... I mean, it should be a great side scraper. It should be great at everything, but... Just one, one degree too much, you know? If you angle one degree too much, the heat just goes through. Look at the hole. Where's the hole? There it is. See the hole? It just goes through. So, what are you going to do? It just goes through. What are you going to do? But hull down, it's pretty good. And they buffed it. They also buffed it. There used to be an easy pen on the roof and the cupola, but now it's, 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 they buffed it in an attempt to keep up with the power creep. And I gotta say the Tiger 2 is, uh, is workable now. It's workable. Now remember, he's playing in a tier 8 game. He's not fighting tier 10s here. Uh, versus tier 10s, it's not workable. It's like any tier 8 tank, guys. Uh, all tier 8 tanks are the same. They're good versus tier 8s. They're not so good ver versus tier 9s. And they suck versus tier 10s. I don't care which one it is, right? I mean, some are better than others. You got a green marker there. You got a green marker? Come on, you got premium ammo. It's green. Go. It's green. Just shoot. You never know. There you go. <laughs> I don't care which one. Burask? Yeah, oh, the Burask is okay versus tier 10. No, it's not. Come on. I mean, it's... Any tank can have its day. You can have a great game. You can stay stealthy. You can flank. You can, of course, of course. But come on. Buraska encounters uh, object, whatever the fuck. Buraska is dead. But oh, look at this. A dead tank is uh, sliding up on <laughs> the guy's pushing his dead teammate. There are some that are better than others. Okay, okay. Maybe the maybe you can make the Burask work. Versus tier 10s, you just gotta spam APCR like a motherfucker, and you've gotta not get detected. Fine. Um, and you know what? Uh, to be fair, uh, if you're a light tank and you get a tier 10 game, that's not bad either, unless there's tier 10 light tanks in the game. Let's face it. If you're fighting tier 10s, tier 8 tanks suck. Tier 8 tanks are the um, free HP for tier 10 tanks. Right? You grind all the way to tier 10 when you finally get a game with tier 8s. They're the free HP. Now, of course, uh, with the magnitude of Muppets that um, infest this game, there's some tier 10 players that uh, aren't very good, and you're going to, you know, in your tier 8, you're going to do well. So, there's that. What am I trying to say? I'm not really trying to say anything. I'm trying to say, what the hell? How did that tiger get there? And he scoots away. You were fighting him. You should have known he was there. And he moved up now. Turn, turn, turn. To every tiger, turn, turn, turn. Snap him! Oh, you didn't snap. That would have went in. Snap! Oh, no, wait, you're losing. It's not going to go in. Okay, it's, uh... You could, maybe. You did it before. Screen not penetrated. And he gets... <laughs> he gets it. You're stunned. Let me have a sip of coffee while this guy considers what a mess he's in now. You are in a mess. You're in the middle of the map. You're losing 9-12. And you're surrounded. You've got enemies this way, enemies that way, enemies this, that way, and enemies that way. And he moves into the little, um, this is the little pocket here. There's this little dip. You see that? You A tank with good gun depression can get in there and make that little dip work. But not when there's artillery. Oh, and one of your teammates just exploded. Your teammates are exploding behind you. So, obviously, the correct strategy is to surge forward towards the enemy base. No, he realizes that the teammates are exploding behind him. <laughs> and that tiger is going to be crossing. This is probably is as good as it gets, you know? It's like 
you got to realize sometimes this is as good as it gets. That you're not going to get to another position now. You're a big slow shoebox. Mm. He's moving into the little uh, the little pocket here. There you go. There you go. You can make this pocket work. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, you see this little pocket? This is a good spot. Now, if our now artillery knows he's here, so of course the shells will start raining down. But of course this teammate died in the pocket. But he is completely surrounded now. Okay, hold on, guys, hold on. This is what it's about. It's him in a bad position versus five. Let's see what happens. He's done 3,622 damage. He sees a TVP. He might as well go after the first enemy quickly to get rid of him, to get at least one gun out of the game. He spotted, he takes the hit, it doesn't matter. Uh, you forgot to press shoot. Oh, he did not kill him. He rolled 364. What's your alpha? Your alpha is 360, so that was a good roll. Uh, now he's got another enemy. Oh, he's taking another shot. Oh boy. He cannot kill one. They all have too much HP, so he has to try and whittle them down slowly. He's completely surrounded. Here he comes. Here, blah, 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 blah. Muppet comes. The Muppet's dead. Ding dong. The Muppet's dead. Which one? The one that went. Blah, 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 blah. Here comes another one. Blah, 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 blah. He ran away. This guy launches himself on him and rams a heavy tank and dies. He takes another hit from the Tiger 2 and snap a Rudy's gets him. Backs up into the crevasse. And there's the AMX driving by again. My job is to distract you. Here I go. I stop in front of you because I'm a Muppet. Now I reverse. And the AMX 1375 is, is thinking to himself, Why isn't my artillery shooting? He's got the guy lit for artillery. The artillery shells are not landing. And here he comes. Um, well, there's that. There's, there is that. Uh, <clears throat> what did we just witness? The um, the barrage of the buffoons. The uh, mesmerizing Muppets. What, what, what the hell was that? Why don't I get enemies like that? Oh, look, there's the artillery. <laughs> now he's all happy because he knows where he is. The artillery. <laughs> Once the game is pretty much lost, and he hasn't moved the whole game, he thinks, now's my chance. Here I go. <laughs> like, what, what are you doing, Lorraine? Why didn't you just sit in a bush and try and shotgun? <laughs> Low roll. And the artillery is undaunted and undeterred. What is he doing? <laughs> the tiger is on 155 HP. If the Lorraine just sits uh, in, in the bushes there, if he just sits in the bushes and loads an AP shell, or at least those shells that do more damage, if he just gets in an ambush position and just waits the tiger has to come to the base and he shoots and hits the tiger and he's probably got a 50 60 maybe 70 percent chance of winning the game if he loads an ap shell he has a 70 80 percent chance of winning the game if he loads one of those shells that does a lot of damage he's got a 40 50 percent chance of winning the game but what does he choose to do instead what does he choose to do this is the artillery he's thinking the game's almost over strategy think of the mental capacity of this Lorraine think of the brain power involved in achieving this result think about it guys think about it now as we watch Ray Panda from the stab clan Shout out to you guys. I want you to contemplate two questions. Two questions that you can leave comments in the comment section. Now remember, comments are good for the algorithm and they help promote the channel. Almost as much as subscribing does. Okay, For those of you who are worried that Google is going to steal your identity if you hit the subscribe button, 
you know, create a, an account. Those of you 70 year olds that are watching me that don't know how to create an account because you don't have an active email, it's good. they both decided to hit the train. It's a good start to this game. I want you to concentrate on two questions. Number one is who is going to be more deserving of their epic performances? Is it going to be the Tiger 2 that we just watched? Or is it going to be this T28? We're going to watch these two games. Then you guys let me know who is more deserving of their epicness. And the second thing uh, that they're, they're, you may fill the comment sections more with this second question is what do you think the IQ of the player that was playing the Lorraine could be? What range? Where does he fit on the bell curve? Um, to come up with that amazing strategy of uh, it's one versus one at the end of the game and I've been still the whole game in these bushes and uh, the Tiger 2 has almost no HP left and he has to come to our base if he wants to win so I think the correct strategy is to run across the map like a, a headless chicken so let me know what uh, what you guys think and the t yes good job teammate that uh, yeah. The teammate is, is blocking. Uh, that, good job. Good job. <laughs> the T-44 wanted to absorb a shot up his ass and, and stop his teammate from shooting. <laughs> the things you get to witness when you watch these guys that other commentators will not comment on. Oh, it looks like there's a little bit of... Uh, uh, this little bit of action between him and the enemy causing him to pause before he pulls the trigger <clears throat> yeah okay the Muppet on his team decided to flaunt his ass in the way snap <laughs> now this T28 has no turret and he has every time he has to change angle he has to adjust and he's doing a great job now ready to snap it Whoa. He is doing over 400 damage per shot. His alpha is 400. Well, he did 361, 419, 317, 401, 435. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. He's up 2,000 damage already. This tank is uh, next on my list to grind. I, I think I did that... Uh, what is it? The T25 slash something? I got the one right before this, but I haven't played the T28. That's right, I, I've got the T28 prototype, which has a turret. I have not played this one, and he's going to come around the corner here. He'll be coming around the corner when he comes. Boom! And that score is thinking, oops! Daddy, oops! Oh, I tracked him, Daddy. <laughs> oops, Daddy! Daddy, I accidentally smashed into the big tank destroyer! <laughs> Because that's a good strategy. That Daddy, he's kind of a rectangularly shaped tank. He only has the, a gun on one side. The, the, the gun sticks out of the front. He has a the left side, the right side, and the rear don't have any guns on them. What should I do? Oh, I know. I'll drive full speed in, uh, and smash into the side that has the gun on it. Okay, T-29 has turret has powerful gun t29 has turret and has powerful gun t28 has no turret and has powerful gun who will win t29 has turret and powerful gun uh, t29 also has muppet driving t29 which is a huge disadvantage um, t29 slowly slowly goes around slowly turns his Angles his armor sideways, effectively. Let's stop it right there, guys. Look at the score. 9-14. It is him versus six. Roll them. Him versus six, and they're capping, and they're coming. Oh, they'll be coming. Here comes one. What is it with these guys that want to fight these big TDs from the front? He doesn't have a turret. You can drive behind him. 
what is wrong with these players? What what is wrong with them? Why don't you drive behind him? I thought I would reverse slowly in front of him instead. Oh, the loader bought the farm. He's got a little bit of uh, dollars per minute action going on here, guys. He's tracked, and his loader bought a farm. And when the loader bought a farm, snap! Snap, Aruni! Snap! Why are they all coming towards his front? What are you guys doing? Why are you even playing this game? They're reversing away. Oh, my God. They're, look, they're all in reverse, guys. They're all in reverse. Boop! How many ramming kills does he have? What's the GSOR doing? Gotcha. What's going on? Well, you guys are going to have to explain it in the comment section because I have no idea what's going on. All I know is that our hero here <laughs> is up to 6,564 damage. I guess the GSOR was loading. How could he be loading? And if he was on a, 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 a reload, why was he even there? Why were you slowly reversing in front of the TD if you're on a reload? And it was six versus one. Who else was there to shoot? How could you possibly be reloading? Oh my god.